they're tough. They're really good. The U.S. is going for the third championship. Our U.S. team is very dynamic. They're the great mix of veterans and new players. There's a lot of reason to be excited about the U.S. Women's World Cup team. A lot of that has to do with Bay Area players. Alex, Alex Morgan. Morgan. Striker Alex Morgan, always a huge favorite among Bay Area residents. At Elite Sports in the Mission District, you'll find... We have uh, a lot of the women's national team shirts. Morgan 13, get the four stars there, get the Women's World Cup ball. And I have a lot of retro shirts as well if you're looking for older ones. On the pitch, soccer stars Alex Morgan, Megan Rapino, and Kelly O'Hara are among 10 players with Northern California connections. They will all represent the U.S. at the 2023 FIFA Women's World Cup. Brady Stewart is the CEO of what will be the first women's professional team in the Bay Area. About 35% of the current team has Bay Area ties, whether that's through their time at Cal, Stanford, Santa Clara. Jerry Smith is head coach of Santa Clara University women's soccer team. But on the current team, um, we have two players from Santa Clara University, uh, Julie Ertz and Sofia Huerta. And of course, from Cal Berkeley, we have Alex Morgan. And then uh, from Stanford, we actually have five players. It's great to see so many of those universities represented at the World Cup. There are more Bay Area World Cup ties beyond the U.S. national team. San Mateo youth soccer teammates Jessica Cowart and then Reina Bonta, the daughter of California Attorney General Rob Bonta, will play for the first Filipino squad to compete in the World Cup. The uh, World Cup is the pinnacle of what we do, and um, it's, it's an amazing event, and it's great to see it continue to grow. We can come and see it together, like, you know, as a community.